Will there be justice for a 25-year-old American teacher who was sexually assaulted in a five-star hotel in Delhi? Well, she's back in the country. The police have registered a complaint, but there have been no arrests so far, and she may have to identify the men she says attacked her once they are paraded by the police. Um, emotionally, the most, but um, dealing with the law in India, very difficult, especially being in another country. The 25-year-old American teacher who was sexually assaulted at a five-star hotel in the national capital nine months ago speaks out of the challenges she had to face as she returns to the country. She has flown down from Pennsylvania to record her statement in court. She was allegedly gang-raped by five people in a posh five-star hotel at Connaught Place in April. The first two nights I was drugged, physically assaulted and sexually assaulted. I had no memory of what happened to me while I was in India. I regained my memory three months later, around the end of July, and that's when I took action. Being in another country took a lot of support from her family and friends to pursue a legal case. But despite having filed a complaint in October, Delhi police delayed filing the case by a month and a half. NGO approached the embassy initially. Then uh, NGO embassy gave the email ID of the Delhi police and on that email ID the that particular NGO sent an email in October 2016. Despite receiving the complaint, the police explained they were confused by the NGO's name which was American Overseas Domestic Crisis Violence Center and assumed it was a complaint of domestic violence and hence forwarded the mail to the women's cell. But the women's cell soon realized it was a sexual assault complaint and sent it back to the district which handles such cases. District police then wrote back to the NGO asking for her statement to be directly mailed to them and after receiving a statement from her, lodged the case. But there have been no arrests till date. Police have questioned 11 men but want a test identification parade done to be sure of the identity of the five accused. I was very excited the first time I came to India. It was a lifelong dream of mine to come here. After returning now, I still have love for India and the country, but this problem that India has with rape and violence against women, I, it's a serious issue. And Though the court proceedings have started, the U.S. national may have to return to the country once again for test identification parade and other court proceedings. With the police acting late on this case, this leads to another dent on the image of the national capital, which is not considered to be very safe for women. With camera person Manoj Thakur in New Delhi, Tonima Biswas for NDTV.